I think there is a widespread sense across the House and beyond that yesterday the House did itself no credit. There was an atmosphere in the chamber worse than any I've known in my 22 years in the House. On both sides, passions were inflamed, angry words were uttered. The culture was toxic. This country faces the most challenging political issue that we have grappled with in decades. There are genuine, heartfelt, sincerely subscribed to differences of opinion about that matter. Members must be free to express themselves about it and to display, as they unfailingly do, the courage of their convictions. It ought, however, to be possible to disagree agreeably, and I can see members on both sides of the House who are fine exponents of that principle and tradition. Yesterday, that was not the majority strain, I'm sorry to say. This is something of concern across the House. It is not a party political matter, and certainly as far as I'm concerned, it should not be in any way, at any time, to any degree, a matter for partisan point scoring. It is about something bigger than an individual or an individual party or an individual political or ideological viewpoint. Let's treat of it on that basis. And in the meantime, may I just ask, and that's all I'm doing and all I can do as your representative in the chair, ask colleagues, please, to lower the decibel level and to try to treat each other as opponents, not as enemies. Order.